Hi, and welcome back to Ultra Sign. And uh, it's time to go back to Aeron. And uh, every everyone all, always says I pronounce it wrong, but okay, okay. Aeron, or uh, however, however. You know what I mean. Um, we're going to check out a track that is named Intergalactic Space Crusader. <laughs> so uh, it's it's about space mm. yeah <laughs> okay it's a live version uh, from one of the few live concert they ever done so let's check it out and uh, see you after
Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, uh, this is uh, the other. The, okay, this was performed under IA Ron, but this from his uh, Aryan's other project, Star One, that we have listened to some tracks also. Uh, and every Star One um, song is based on a movie or a, <laughs> a TV series. Um, so the guessing game is always: Did you know what uh, series this was based on? <laughs> no. no. Okay, it's a really old uh, British sci-fi series that's called Blake, Blake's Seven. So, okay, oh, okay, <laughs> just to <Okay>. know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay, people. Any thoughts about this? Yeah, as okay. usual. The, the musicians are, uh, they are almost too skilled. It's just, I mean, everyone is amazing. Uh, I think in general, this uh, sound was almost too clean. It, I mean, this is a live performance, but it there's no grits. There's no, <laughs> yeah. it, it just sounds very clean even though it's kind of distorted instruments and stuff but i mean i don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing but that's <laughs> yeah but i know what you mean it it almost like uh when it's when live sounds too good it's almost like you're missing something um <laughs> yeah because it, it yeah. doesn't sound like a record anyway no, it just exactly. sounds like very clean live sound but yeah yeah, but that, I mean, this is, it's always great with these people because they are, I mean, they don't make mistakes if that's the aim. Uh, and I I did have a huge problem with the bass, bass tongue, though. <laughs> I, don't yes. I don't know why, why someone would do that. Uh, no. <laughs> I think it's yeah. it is a thing, and when you know, yes, people he had that thing when they concentrate, you know. <laughs> but uh, I don't think he's he thinking about it really. <laughs> I, well, I think, you can you kind of gives you, that to the audience like yeah, a but, thing, but yeah, yeah, okay, but okay. that has maybe it, it have become, but he he have been around for thirty years or something, so maybe it have become his thing. But I, from the start, I don't think he was. Yeah. <laughs> the point. Anyway, that doesn't. But, I, but I know what you mean. <laughs> it's yeah. just a weird thing, but yeah, um, it doesn't have anything to do with the music. But, no, uh, just uh, a detail. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, uh, Robert. Yeah, uh, I do think that uh, this band, if you can call it a band, uh, no, not uh, really. Uh, are usually just filled with the greatest talents in the genre, really. Uh, so uh, you can't say anything else than what they are trying to perform, they are performing correctly and perfectly, really. So, uh, and uh, Aeron, no, however you are supposed to pronounce it, uh, have released so many songs and you have showed me a lot of his pre previous songs and yeah. uh, this was not my favorite uh, wow. I, I can uh, uh, I really do get what they are trying to do but this was not really my favorite uh, maybe because I like the more progressive stuff a bit more and this was more straight on heavy metal if you can call it that yeah, um, Star One is all was more straight on. Uh, Aeon is more progressive, a bit of Aryan, uh, you know, mm -hmm. that he has, uh, well, uh, you know, flutes and uh, violins and stuff. Yeah. Here is here is synthesizers and uh, electric guitars. That's mm, that. exactly, yeah. Uh, so, so of course, the sound is different, and uh, and this is more this was. Uh, from what a different time we listen to, this is more playful. It's more, you know, um, supposed to be a little bit more funny mm. uh, because, uh, the, well, it's it's based on a, a kind of funny uh, sci-fi series. So, so you know, yeah, you have that, uh, and the lyrics is kind of that way too, you know. Yeah. 
uh, with with uh, well the intellect intergalactic space crusaders that the title say it's all what you can suppose it not it's supposed to be super deep <laughs> so, yeah and i think that uh, when you uh, really put out a record where you say that every single song is inspired or based on a movie or book or whatever it may be. I guess that uh, to be able to enjoy it fully, you have to know and get the references, I guess. Yeah, uh, I think so. uh... Yeah, it's like if you make an album about Star Trek, you will enjoy it more if you know your Star Trek than if you don't. I would guess this is the same, even if I don't know the series is based on. Nah, uh, but I, I I know what you mean, and uh, it's always fun. They have uh, on this album is they have actually have a track from uh, Star Trek, also. Yeah, so. yeah of course. <laughs> of course yeah. Uh, actually, the Star Trek Four, the movie, you know, the, when they come back to Earth and have yeah, to save and save the, the whales. Yeah, <laughs> the whales. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a very a weird one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, I think. Uh, well, we can talk a long about, uh, stuff about uh, sci-fi, sci-fi fiction, yeah. but uh, we have to do that another time. <laughs> okay. Thank you and goodbye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>